Good afternoon, everyone. It's Sally Kalen, Relationship Coach. You are listening to my podcast, Relationships, the Good and the Messy. Welcome, everyone. I hope wherever you are, I'm finding you well today. Today, this is an upbeat one, I feel. I mean, we talk a lot about all the not so good things in relationships, those signs to look for that, you know, he's not the one for you or narcissists or starting over all kinds, right? But today we're going to be talking about those green flags that let you know that this is possibly the guy for you. So if you're new to dating or you've been seeing someone for a few weeks, few months, and you're asking yourself, hmm, I wonder if this is the one, then let me share with you some of those um, things to look for, which is really saying, you know, this could be the one, right? Now, like I always say, I think it's really important for us to be very present in our relationships and not get too carried away in the early days of a relationship because in those first six months to a year, you're really getting to know a person and everybody's putting their best foot forward, right, in the beginning. And I know when things look so rosy, we can get super excited and we start preempting futures and we start imagining things that could be. Uh, that's often tied in with your attachment style, by the way, but that's another podcast. Um, but yeah, I think it's still really good to look at the people we're dating and to, to be able to do a few ticks and say, yeah, this is looking really promising. So let me share with you six, six or seven points that give you the thumbs up that this is looking good. So Number one is this person that you have recently started dating, they do not talk badly about their exes. There is no putting the ex down, saying she was a B-I-T-C-H, she was this, she was that. Um, You know, if the ex comes up, it's she or he is spoken about with respect. And I feel this is always a really good sign. You know, it says a lot about a person's character. When we meet someone and they're you know talking a lot about how awful their ex was that to me is a red flag now of course when you get to know someone really well you might share a lot more about the 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 things that weren't so good in that relationship and that's a different story because you know you've known each other a while then and then you're sort of being very intimate and sharing some deep truths but i'm talking more about when you meet someone and the ex comes up and you know they talk positively or there is at least no um, putting that other person down. So I feel like that is definitely a green flag to look for, that they talk well of their exes. Number two, they do not back off, back away, when you are not all shiny and bright, when you're not feeling the best, uh, they still want to be there, right? I say this because I was dating someone and he was great when I was great, but when I needed him on any emotional level or I wasn't so good, he just did not bother. And you'd think that would have been enough for me to just say, "Uh uh-uh, no, 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 I kept going with that one. But uh, that's another story. Um, But it's definitely a green flag when you have someone that's saying, you know what, I'm still here. It's okay you don't feel so good, right? We want that. It speaks volumes about that person. It is showing that person is invested in you as a person and isn't just there for one thing, right? So that is definitely something to be paying attention to, that they don't back away when you're not so great. Number three, they are consistent and they have integrity. Consistency in the way they're showing up and behaving, right? They say what they mean, they mean what they say, and there is a sense of consistency in the relationship. There is nothing more comforting than someone that you can almost predict, right? This predictable, predictable behavior is healthy behavior, right? I know when I was younger, I used to think, oh, that's so boring. But that was my trauma patterns play, playing out that were addicted to the chaos. But in reality, to have healthy relationships, we It is so important to have someone that is, like I say, mean what they say, say what they mean. And you kind of know with this person that they're there, they're consistent, right? They're showing up, they they do the right thing. And 
that is a really good feeling because it's in the inconsistencies, right? That we start going, okay, what's going on? He seemed so nice the other day and now he's not even calling me or, you know, all that crazy stuff that sends us into all kinds of thought processes of fear and doubt and it triggers our own wounding. And that is something we just don't want, right? We don't want that, right? We want someone that is consistent with how they show up for us. Green flag. The next green flag to look for is that you have really awesome communication. You're on the same wavelength, you're in sync with each other. There is a free flow of words that you're not afraid to speak your truth with each other. And whether you totally get that person or not, you obviously want that feeling of getting someone, connecting with someone. You may disagree, but you're able to just work things through, right? And the communication is so in sync with yours. So I feel like this is a huge one because, you know, you hear it all the time that communication is everything in relationships, and it really is. Again, I've been in relationships where a pers- where the person did not communicate well with me, would shut down, walk away, not have the deep and meaningfuls, not want to work things out. And it drove me insane. Like it was so hard work and it drains you. And we don't want that, right? We want somebody whose communication styles, you know, sync up with our own. So it's really important. Great communication. The next point is they want to know who you are, how you feel. You know, not they're not just attracted to the external of you. They're interested in who you are. And you know this by the way you feel around that person. You know that saying, you know the truth by the way it feels. When you are with someone that is highly invested in you, you can feel it. There is no second guessing. There is no wondering, right? It's just an energy. You feel that. It's just like with friendships. You know the friends that are really there for you and you also know the friends that are just there just to have a good time with, right? Um, and it's the same with relationships. You know, you when you've got someone that is um, you know, a green flag, as I say, they are very much wanting to know all about you. And you feel that and you sense that and it feels darn good. The next point is they are super helpful towards you, meaning kind of ties into the one before this. They show up for you emotionally. They're wanting to help you and be of service to you in some way, right? They they care about you. It's not all about them. It's not all about getting what they want, right? You feel this person is helpful. Can I do this for you? Do you need that? And there's this feeling of comfort and security with this person. And it feels really good, right? Um, I think, again, something I was missing in my relationships um, and I now know how important it is to have that person that it is very helpful, shows up for you emotionally. We've got to have that right, guys. It is so important. So I'm going to recap. I'm going to recap these green flags. Oh, and just to add one more in is when you have a disagreement about something, that person is willing and wanting to sit down and sort things through. They don't just sort of project and push back and walk off or not want to deal with it. They are all about sitting down and working things through. Because when someone is projecting back onto you, it's an avoidance within themselves, right? They're avoiding something within who they are. And we don't want that. We want someone that's willing and open to be able to tackle things with us. We're a team, we're together, right? We wanna work this out. And if someone, if, if something comes up and that and you say to that person, oh, can we, can we talk about this? Can we sort this out? And they push back or they, no, no, I don't wanna talk about it. Look, do we have to talk about it? That is not a good thing, right? Remember the saying, the red flags in the beginning of a relationship are, are usually the very things that end the relationship at the end. So let's be really clear on that. So green flags, we want to see those green flags, right? So to recap, number one, green flags that you are with a high value person and it is looking good. Um, they don't talk bad about their ex at all. There's no 
putting down the ex-partner, partners at all. I think it says so much about the character of that person and super important. Number two, they don't back away when you are not feeling so well or you're not all shiny and bright. They're still there and they're showing up for you no matter what. So you know you feel safe with this person, that they're not just after you when you're you know, in the best perfect space. Number three, they are consistent with their behavior and how they show up. They have integrity, meaning they say what they mean, mean what they say, and you're seeing that more and more. You have the next point, you have great communication. You're in sync with each other. You're able to have a lot of warm and intimate um, communications um, with each other. And you just feel a sense of comfort with that person, right? Your communication styles are in sync with each other. Very important because it is everything in a relationship. The next point is they want to know about who you are, right? They want to know you. They want to know about your dreams, your goals, your your past. Like, you know, where, where are you in your life? What do you want? Like, they're really wanting to know about you and they're right there for you. Uh, the next point is they're super helpful towards you. They show up for you emotionally. They, you know that that person is just someone you could talk to and be there, right? They're like a soft place to fall. It feels comforting, it feels warm. And the final point is they're willing to sit down and work things through if there is a problem of some kind. They're not walking away and shutting down and avoiding things. They're open and willing to sort things out. So they are my green flags. Let me know. There are probably many more, but I know these are standouts for me. Let me know how you're going in your relationship. Let me know if you are uh, in a place where you would like to work with me one-to-one in my coaching program. I am offering uh, the three-month or six-month programs. I do have a six-week program, but I am going to be, um, they will not be, Uh, I won't be using those um, programs as much in the future because simply because I work with clients long term and I feel the six week programs, albeit they are powerful and super helpful. I I like to work with people where I can see the the massive shifts over long term. um, Right. And that is why I am doing the three month programs more now. However, I am still currently running the six week program. So if you're interested in working with me, hop onto the six week program. You're gonna get so much out of it. Like life changing tools and strategies and everything you need if you are wanting to break your toxic cycles or you're getting over an ex right now. And you know, you want to create a new life for yourself. I mean, the work I do, if you don't know already, I'm all about helping people become free, wake up, clear, unconscious patterns that are keeping them in toxic cycles, help them know themselves, right? Know who they are so that they can therefore make the best decisions for themselves and ultimately have the love of their life and a great life. I want to see you win, guys. That is why I'm here. I want to see you succeed, transform and become the best version of yourself. And that is why I do what I do. So let me know if you're interested in the programs. You can go to my website, sallykaylin.com. Come on over to Instagram. Let me know how you find this podcast today. I'm going to love you and leave you. And I am going to be back in a couple of days with a new podcast. Love you guys. Please share this. Love you.